Has anybody not made a video for a couple days and then comes back and then completely forgets how to do it all? Because that's what's happening right now. Hi everybody, welcome to Jenna's Stitches. Uh, today is Friday, December 16th, and I want to welcome you all to my channel. Whether you are new or returning, thank you so much for being here. If you are new, thank you for joining us. Um, if you're not subscribed and you like what you see, definitely think about hitting that subscribe button. I would really, really appreciate it. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate that as well. Um, I do want to start off by apologizing for not being on the last couple days. And that is on YouTube in general. Not only making new videos, but I haven't been watching videos. I haven't been commenting. I think today is the first day since like Sunday that I actually commented on anybody's videos. But um, I just kind of had a... I need a break kind of week for no reason in general. It's not that I was like stressed out or overwhelmed or anything. It's just, I didn't want to. And I can't think of any other reason other than that is I just didn't want to. Um, it was kind of a, it wasn't a hectic week. I keep wanting to say it was a hectic week, but it really wasn't. But with work and everything else, it just, was more than usual, I guess is all I can say. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but our shower broke um, last Friday and we've ha been having to run around, um, myself, the kids and the husband, to other people's houses to take showers until it got fixed. Um, so that kind of put a damper on things. There was one night, you know, I had to pack up the kids and run to my mom's house to go take a shower um, before my husband went to work. There was another day I had to leave work early to t pack them up and take them to my best friend's house so we could all shower before my husband went to work and because I had to leave work early to do that I had to stay late another day and working 7 30 to 5 30 afterwards I don't want to do anything and that's just kind of the week I had plus I honestly really haven't been crocheting too much either I know shocking um the only thing I've worked on since my last video, which would be my weekly progress video, is my Karen Latte Cake Granny Square Blanket, which I did finish. Um, I finished it last night. And technically, it still needs one more round for it to be exactly what I wanted. Um, I did the border, a single crochet, double crochet, and then I was going to do another round of single crochets to finish off the border. And I just got tired last night and didn't. Um, so technically it's done, but technically I do want to put one more round on the border to be completely done, but I'm still going to consider it a finished object. But I planned on having it done Monday or Tuesday at the latest. It took till Thursday just because I really haven't been crocheting too much at all. Um, and you know, that's the only thing I've touched all week except for today I worked on the sweater I've been making. A little bit. I think I did like two or three rows um, because I finished the latte blanket so I didn't have that to work on anymore. But I didn't want to start any new projects and I didn't really even want to crochet but then I felt like kind of guilty that I wasn't. So I picked up my sweater and worked on that a little bit. The way my hair is parting right here is driving me nuts. But, um, this is going to be a happy mail video so you know four minutes in and I haven't even gotten to that point yet but that's what it's going to be. But that's how my week's been going. Um, also, not only have I not crocheted a lot or made any videos all week, I also haven't been watching YouTube. Um, today is the first day since Sunday, I believe, that I've watched any videos. And I know I just said that a minute ago, I think. I don't even remember. Um, and I, I haven't been commenting on any either. I think there was like an hour or so the other night that I watched some on TV, but you can't comment on TV. Um, so for all those that I am, you know, always commenting on every video I watch and I comment to you guys, uh, sorry that I haven't been. Um, I might have watched it and wasn't able to comment or I might not have. I honestly, there's so many people posting videos right now, which is awesome, but I can't keep up with it. I don't know what videos I have watched and what videos I haven't. There was like over 200 videos in the last three days on my watch later list. <laughs> and I just felt like I was never going to catch up. 
and I also got really hooked on a TV show and I binged watched all five and a half seasons in like three days so that took away from YouTube too um no shame at all it was amazing I loved it but I didn't watch any YouTube during that time either so um I'm gonna get back into it and get back in the swing of things I know it's only been a couple days but I feel like it's been forever and um, I had to delete my watch later list and start over. I just, it was way too many videos. I don't think I would have ever caught up, even though some of them are pretty short. Um, so I know I did delete it and go back to yesterday and start saving videos again. And I think as of right now, um, if I start over from yesterday, I am caught up for quite a few channels, but, um, yeah, that's kind of why I've been MIA since Sunday. And again, this is going to be a Happy Mail video and you know, six minutes in and I'm still not there yet. <laughs> but this time I'm really going to show you. So I have received two pieces of Happy Mail in the last couple days. Um, one of them I actually just got today and I think I got the other one yesterday. So the first one is a card that I received. It says Happy Holidays. It's gorgeous. I love the buffalo plaid. Um, and this is from Tiffany at CMM Designs. And the inside says, May the warmth and joy of the season fill your heart with happiness. And she wrote a little note to me. It says, Jenna, I hope you and your family have a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year. Your, your yarny friend, Tiffany at CMM De Designs. So, Tiffany, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I love it. It was hanging on my fridge already. And I will go put it back as soon as I'm done with this. And I hope you got your card. Um... You should have received it by now. I think everybody who I sent cards to has received them, hopefully. But I did send you one as well. Um, and if you aren't familiar with Tiffany's channel, please go check her out. She is absolutely fantastic. Um, I will have her link down below. And then the second thing I got is a gift from Heather at Strings and Threads. Also, if you have not checked out her channel, please go check her out. She is amazing. Um, we have become very good friends here on YouTube, and I know I mentioned her channel quite a bit, as well as Tiffany's, um, so check them both out. They are both awesome, but Heather actually sent me a gift. It came with a little note from Amazon. It says, Jenna, thank you for being such a good friend. So glad we met on YouTube. Hope your family has a very Merry Christmas from Heather Strings and Threads, so... Thank you, Heather. I am very glad we met on YouTube as well. And I know you got your Christmas card, and I know I wrote pretty much the same in it for you. But I do hope you and your family have a very Merry Christmas as well. Tiffany, same with you and your family. I don't know if I said that. I, I just, I keep forgetting everything I'm saying. So I, I hope you both have a great Christmas, and I hope your families do as well. Um, and then Heather sent me one of her pattern books. I forgot what it was called for a second. So um, Heather does write um, her own patterns and she makes a lot of patterns for dice bags, which is what these are. So um, this is her self-published book that she has out um, of dice bags. I feel like I was going to say something out there and then I don't know what it was, but it's so cool. So this is called the Eclectic Ethereal Dice Bags by Heather, um, and they are so awesome. I was just actually showing it to my husband before he left for work because he plays the card game Magic the Gathering. If anybody plays it, please correct me. Is it actually considered a card game? Like, I know there's cards that you play with, but there's dice too, so... What do you refer to it as? I've played it before with him only once. It was fun. I don't know if I could get into it like he does, but is it technically considered a card game? I don't know. But there's dice involved, so <laughs> dice bags. Um, and I actually just made him one recently, and um, Heather did send me a, uh ebook type version of some of her dice bags, too. Um, so I, I have that, and I'm going to print it out, but I'm glad I got this, too. And what was I saying? Oh, yeah, my husband. So I was showing it to him before he left for, for work to see, like, which one he would want me to make first. Because um, I think it won't probably be won't probably won't be <laughs> until after Christmas. 
um, but I definitely want to make one of these for him, if not multiple. Um, I mentioned to him too, maybe he can um, either see with his friends that he plays with if they'd want one, or I'll just make him one anyways. Um, but it could kind of be his gift to them because he plays with like four or five other guys. But yeah, this is so cool. I keep looking at it. Okay, I'm going to show you what's in it without showing you the patterns. So there is, this is probably my favorite one, the taco dice bag. So cool. We actually had Taco Bell for lunch today. I love tacos. There is the french fry dice bag. That would probably be Maverick's favorite because he only eats french fries. Not really <laughs> for um, anybody, but we I do get him the, um, I think it's like Marie Callender uh, dino fries with chicken nuggets. And he makes me take the chicken nuggets out of it and only give him the dino fries with a lot of ketchup. He definitely is a french fry boy. There is a dragon skull dice bag. That one just looks insanely good. I mean, they all do, but it's hard to believe it's a dice bag. And I don't want to show the patterns off because, you know, this is a paid for book, but they are very well laid out. Um, the directions are very easy to read. There are a lot of pictures to help with the process. This book is very well put together, Heather. There is the Medusa dice bag. That one is awesome, too. There is the snake dice bag. I love that one as well. I love them all. Um, I really do. I think that one's probably one of my favorites, too, though, the snake one. There is the monkey one. Super cute. There is the tree man. Groot. And it, I don't think we can say Groot because that's like copyrighted, but it's the tree man. He's my favorite too. They're all my favorite. I think honestly though, the tree man's probably my favorite with the taco being second place. There is the bee dice bag. There is Baby Dragon Hatching from an Egg, which, again, awesome. I would never guess that's a dice bag. And also one of my favorites is the Cereal Bowl dice bag. So cool. And then the uh, 8 Ball dice bag. And that is all of them. And there's a little about the author page. So there's Heather. Uh, so that is so cool. Um, this is available on Amazon if I can find it. I will link it down below, but I will also link Heather's channel down below. Please go check her out. Again, her and Tiffany both absolutely amazing um, channels that they have. There it is again. So that is what I have for you guys. Thank you so much to Tiffany and Heather. I don't know how many times I've said it, but I'll say it again. I really do appreciate it. Um, and I will be back on in a minute for me, but tomorrow for you guys to film a video of some other stuff I got in the mail. Um, so you'll probably see me in this black shirt again in tomorrow's video. Um, but I hope everybody's having a great day. I hope everybody had a great week. Let me know down in the comments below how your week was and what you've been up to. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.